OT Brass. So uh, what I'm going to do here is just play some horn lines that are uh, legato lines. This is the JXL Brass from OT, the AMXL Tree mic position in the Sustains Legato um, position. So uh, let's see, you can't see if I move the mod wheel yet. I would have to turn one of these down. Let's pretend that I'm using... Um, Okay, so this way you can see a mod wheel move, and but you're actually going to be hearing the Junky XL. That really should be a different articulation. Those should be more separated. Oh, this doesn't... <laughs> I picked a key that... <laughs> Uh, I picked a key that doesn't have that high G. So there's a bass line for um, how the horns sound. That was the baseline orchestral tools, and um, I'm just gonna copy a link here real quick and send it off to Facebook. I think we're up and running. If there's any audio problems, can you please let me know? If you can't hear something, can't hear my voice, or can't hear the music. Uh, let's see here, live JXL brass now. Oh, that's the wrong link. Wrong link. Live streaming link would be here. You have to actually copy it to your clipboard. Paste it. Why won't it copy? It won't let me copy the link. Copy. I guess I have to click a word to say copy. I can't use the... Okay, sorry for that distraction. So let's now listen to something else. Um, let's listen to Forza. So Forza, <laughs> I'm going to do Forza next because Forza is literally the closest uh, after my little playing around last night to, you know, just the, the basic idea here, even though it doesn't have any legato. It just has a nice big round sound and with the long sustain, it actually can do fairly well. You miss that legato, don't you? <clears throat> and it also doesn't have this note. I can't get up to the G. Probably picking the wrong key anyway. But this is as, as dynamically loud as we get. And um, so we'll move to something like uh, Native Instruments and Sound Irons Brass Ensemble. That one has a really interesting loud layer. Oh, it's also an octave up. But 
But when you get loud, it gets compressed, which I found really interesting. There's like an audio compression going on. Oh, and then you've got these slurs. So you can flip and slur, and um, this is the sustains patch. You have a lot of control over how the legato slurs happen. We actually go up there. But um, we might want to add a little hall just to give it a little bit of a sense of something. Cathedral, room large, auditorium, amount. I've got everything on slur now. But it kind of, like, the louder it gets, it still feels quiet. You'd have to do your own, um, you know, fix it in the mix kind of stuff. But you get a lot of great layers. It ends up feeling a little squashed, and it's kind of a smiley face EQ with a lot of low end and um, and that brassy. You can see I'm maxed out on the volume up here. Is interesting. Not that you would slur that that way. You'd probably do that articulation a different, a little differently. But it just has a squashed sound, unfortunately. 8DO. Um, <clears throat> we're back in our low. It has actually a really nice sound. These are the Century brass horns. This is just default, no convolution, just the mixed room mics. 12 horns. change that articulation. Oh, you know what? I'm clipping, aren't I? But this is as loud as we get. And I picked this key, didn't I? We really don't get that high. But that's okay. See, if they only go up to D, then we go um, outline a fourth. Sorry, I'm transposing. maxed out in loudness in terms of the mod wheel. Still sounds pretty good. Where was I? But it also doesn't get as quiet. It just sounds like it's louder further away. And then we can move on to what haven't we covered? So this is Octahorn from um, Audict. And um, so these are more 12 horns. And um, this is all exactly out of box. I didn't change anything. So a really beautiful sound, smooth. And 
this is as big as we get. That's we're at the end of the mod wheel. Nice little legato kind of slurry sample there. We get to go up to E in this one. Then um, we've got, uh, what else have we got to show? We've got this beautiful Majestic Horns from Majestic Horn. Now this was also distributed later by or um, Orchestral Tools, but previously it was a product from um, this Rafael Oliveros guy. And um, he had his own little sampling. Um, world. Well, we're really far on the left side of the stereo image. I'm just going to add some more mics. So again, I'm at the end of my uh, mod wheel here. And the speed you can change um, differently. really inexpensive horn and um, just really nice sound. Um, we'll go back to the bass line here. <clears throat> this is back to what we get from JXL Brass. Same key. Um, th and if you just joined, the library is the articulation. These are the AMXL tree mics in uh, Sustain Legato here. Oh, and I'll give you another indicator of what the mod wheel is doing. So don't pay attention to Fort so you're listening to JXL Brass. The reason I'm playing these live is because the mod wheel is going through the different round robins in different places each time for each library. You'd probably do those with different articulations. You'd probably swap out a marcata or something. That's 
the baseline going back to something like Forzo. You just get a squashed sound up there. No, that's not Forzo. Forzo actually sounds pretty good. Um, you lose the marca you lose the legato, and you don't get the loudest dynamic range. It was Native Instruments where you lose the um, as it gets louder. Shoot, I always forget. And you can change the. It sounds loud but squashed. So if you just want the loudest layers, you could do something like uh, Caspian, which is going to... Um this isn't going to be the loudest layers. It'll be um, Angry Brass Pro, but... The releases are really interesting on Caspian. They kind of go... Rawr. And again, no legato transitions. So Angry Brass Pro does that, but even bigger. It's like you're, you're angry adventurer. <laughs> those uh, legato transitions um, but you, you have a nice um, place to start uh, ten horns and trailer brass just sort of sounds kind of this is the adventure brass patch this is as quiet as we get If anyone wants to tell me what key this actually is in, that'd be helpful. I usually play it in. Um, so again, we'll go back to the bass line here of JXL Brass. Wait, I'm still playing ten horns. And then I'll go to Hollywood just for fun.
These are just the legato patches. These aren't macados. just it's just a it breathes it has a real nice breath to it um very easy to feel expressive while you're playing um uh, this has got some fat hall added um the east west fat hall i don't like the brass hall as much although maybe this sounds less like tildex and i like the vintage mic so i've got the vintage mics on so this may not compare to your Hollywood brass, but um, oh, I need to get some volume up. That would be unmuting. So this has got some nice nasty samples in it, actually. These are six horns. Turn that hall up just, oh, I have to turn the hall on. This is the slur repetition patch. I mean, you can hear they get kind of growly. But every every library I play now, I miss that last dynamic layer. I'm like, that's pretty big, but except for Angry Breast Pro, and the horns, the the native instruments gets loud, but it feels squashed. The Hollywood is actually quite nice. Trying not to move the mod wheel into the transition so that the legato <laughs> sample is the wrong legato sample. Never mind, it just sort of overlaps. I noticed in the in the ATO, by the way, there are some transitions that just don't work. Sorry, I'm probably clipping. I turned it up too much. I just can't get quiet without that expression. And then I can't get loud either. You just start feeling these other libraries and you're like, ah. This is the one that I was thinking of. That just doesn't work. It farts on the way to up to the, the slurry legato transition. For that whole range of samples, it's it's scripted to go bah. Oh. I'm transposing in my head, sorry. <laughs> or 
Where was I? Not there. Everything just, everything else just feels squashed at that upper dynamic level. When, after you hear this. So I know this was just uh, one little set of lines, one um, patch, one instrument. It was just a tiny little microcosm to show the the, the dynamic how the dynamic range of the the product just sort of um, is an expansion, is a great expansion on on the tools that we have today. Can you do it with your other libraries? Yes. I don't have Cine Samples, Cine Brass. I don't have uh, the Audio Bro um, brass product that came out. I don't have Cinematic Studio brass yet. So all three of those packages would have been good to include in the comparison and, um, and may get closer and may, um, may get a lot closer. So um, I didn't want anybody to feel like they have to have JXL brass, but it's just uh, it's, it's, it's worth knowing that there's some options out there on the market, though, if you're, if you're interested. All right. Cheers. Bye-bye.